The FAA delays Starship's orbital flight yet again. Crew 4 launches to the space station. Starlink is at the plate and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin and this is SpaceX in the News. This morning, the FAA quietly updated their SpaceX page to inform the public that they have pushed the release of their programmatic environmental assessment for Starbase another month. First scrubbed from the end of December to February 28th, then to March 29th, then April 29th, and now May 31st, claiming they need to respond to comments and ensure consistency with SpaceX's licensing application, as well as completing consultations and confirming mitigations for the proposed SpaceX operations. If this is all new to you, what it means is Starship and its Super Heavy booster will continue to be grounded. SpaceX is planning on launching the rocket for its first orbital attempt in the coming months. And if the PEA doesn't go their way, meaning an entirely new environmental impact survey will need to be conducted, Elon said they will have to shift their operations to the Cape, which will delay the program several more months. Meanwhile, Stage Zero has received a lot of activity this week in Boca Chica. Local photographer Starship Gazer reported that the launch and integration tower's chopsticks had their stabilizer braces removed. Lots of pieces have been added to the ship's QD arm. In fact, an entirely new quick disconnect was transported to the area, as was a new pump and motor that were installed to the tank farm, and cryo deliveries galore. Despite that leaky valve issue with Raptor 2 that we reported on Tuesday, Elon since tweeted a photo from inside Starbase of 17 of them, give or take, standing by for a future installation, sir. At ease, fellas. Okie dokie, gentlemen. Are we all here ready to fucking go? I asked you all a question! <laughs> Through difficulties to the stars. In the early, disgusting pre-dawn hours on Wednesday, NASA's Crew-4 astronauts suited up for their mission to the International Space Station to conduct over 200 science experiments in Earth orbit. Boarding their new Dragon capsule, Freedom, at Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center rotating their seats to their lean back positions, and closing the hatch for liftoff at 3.52 a.m. Eastern Time. Check out the plume. During their 16-hour coast, the astronauts introduced their zero-g indicators for the mission. A monkey and turtle. Look at the turtle. Uh-huh. Later that evening, Freedom caught up to the space station, rendezvousing, putting on a light show with his Draco thrusters, and docking just after 8 p.m., where soon after the crew was welcomed by the station's current space squatters. This was the booster's fourth flight during this fourth official crew mission, and it landed successfully without feed interruption on a shortfall of gravitas floating on the Atlantic Ocean. Next up is Starlink. SpaceX is targeting today, that's Friday, at 5.27 p.m. Eastern for their 44th Starlink mission. Liftoff will be from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral, Florida, and I'll be streaming it live on Rumble. So if you're currently watching on the tubes, be sure to check out the description box below for the link to subscribe on that alternative pro-free speech platform. Okay. But now it's time for today's Honorable Mention. NASA's Ingenuity Mars helicopter completed its 26th flight above the red surface on April 19th. During its travels, the Martian Chapa took some images of the Perseverance rover's back shell and parachute scattered among the dust from an altitude of 26 feet or 8 meters. Percy and Ingenuity entered the Martian atmosphere on February 18th of 2021 deployed its supersonic disc gap band shoot bra, the one from the pictures, jettisoned its heat shield, came out of its shell, again the one you saw shattered in pieces a second ago, rocketeered it closer to the surface, then used the sky crane maneuver to score a touchdown. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I am officially back on Twitter now that a new captain is at the helm, one who actually appreciates free speech like a real American should. So you can follow me there, and I'll be posting more frequently as the platform opens up. But of course, you could also join the thousands who have already joined our locals community to engage with me on a more intimate level, as well as with other space patriots. By doing so, you'll also receive email notifications for all launch live streams and new videos. Have a nominal weekend, and until next time, Godspeed.